Welcome to South Floor TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. What kind of levels Mavado have that Tommy Lee don't have? I need to know. Leave that in the comment section below. Check this out. I just did a review for Tommy Lee Enemy, right? And I have people in the comment section telling me, say, many gunshots in my face and all these kinds of things. Mind you, I never said Mavado wasn't one next youth. Big up Ricky Too Clean. But Ricky Too Clean, you come sideways more time in my youth. Brother say, me just don't play Mavado whole career like it's nothing. How? My Jamaican people, somehow no, a lot of you seem to be challenged, severely challenged when it comes to critical thinking and reasoning, right? Me never said anything about Mavada career, brother. If you look at any video I've ever done concerning Mavada, I always say Mavado is legendary in dancehall music and Mavado is, his place is solidified and I want the bodies to ever do it. I always say that. To compare him, I mean, not even compare him to Tommy Lee. I'm saying, him put out a song named um, Timer. Tommy Lee seems to have answered the song Timer and counteracted the song Timer. Not people that know that so there's a difference between just a diss and a counteraction. A diss is when you just diss up a man and say, yo, anyway, me see you here. And you know what I mean? I say, counteraction is when the man actually answered things that you said in your song. That is what I think personally Tommy Lee did with his enemy song to Mavado's Timer. I, I did a review and that's all I said. Me never know that people get gunshot in them face for that. Jamaican people are found out. Hide behind social media emojis, icons and all these other things and disrespect people. The reason y'all don't show your face is because you know so when big man see you out the road then we grab you up in your neck and slap out your face. You understand? Don't come to me with that gunshot thing. Anyhow you see me in real life and make me feel threatened. Remember, you know, I'm not push badness enough. You know? I don't support it, I don't push it, nothing. If it's not lyrical badness by artist doing music, me not in it. You understand? So when you see me out the road, nobody make me feel threatened because as soon as they make me feel threatened, I defend myself, right? And self-defense is what I'm all for. Now, we're from that negativity. Watch this. What's up with your reasoning skills, man? Everybody always has said, this man are the baddest and that the artist are the baddest. You know we used to make dance all nice? When the artists them used to clash, you see? <clears throat> I never talk about no levels. Me have Bentley and Mansion, so you can't, we don't give a fuck about your material things. Pardon my French. I don't give two shits about your material things. We are talk about lyricism and we are talk about delivery on the beat, on stage or lyrically, song for song. That's what we are talk about. Put out a bad tune, make the people them have something for talk about, make the vlogger them have something for talk about, make the crowd get excited, make your fans them feel satisfied, cause them support you and carry you right through. A lot of these fans, them look like them would kill you for them artists. They look like they will kill you for their artists. The artists don't give two shits about you though, boy. If you don't notice that. You know they are telling me about Mavado are the baddest. Or Alkaline fan, I got say Alkaline are the baddest. Uh, why him not step up and defend it? Tell him if he step cross and defend the thing. I don't see any other component or uh, opponent, sorry, but component. I don't see any other opponent no more worthier of a clash with Movado at this very moment than either it have to be a Vibes Cartel again, which Jamaica would have just got crazy for, or, and I think that's in the works. May I tell you why now our next video? Or, it's going to have to be somebody like a Tommy Lee. And Tommy Lee now I'm back down. So why not go for it? I want to hear about how many times you fly out and you're signed to people overseas already and you're driving a, a Bentley and you have mansion and me don't want to hear none of that. Right? You're both dancehall artists. Tommy Lee levels up the thing. He is consistent. Right? And him always a put out material and him have a very strong following, not just in Jamaica, but globally. 
So, why not? Why not? Answer Tommy Lee and make something start, man, because you know him now back from it. And all it's going to do is going to give us a bunch of songs. Or am I overlooking something? Is it more than lyricism? Is it, is it, is it, is it something where um, in the streets between them? Me don't know. Me have to ask because I really don't know. But these fans, boy, these people, listen. When you come to SoFlo TV, right? And you hear me do a review. I do a review to satisfy myself. Not to satisfy the audience. The audience are going to look into the review when me do. And say, yeah, Flo, me agree with this, but me no agree with that. That's it. You know, if you have a man gunshot and tell man about suck out under them mother and all these other kind of things. And then you undercover homosexual mother. F you undercover Batman Uno. Always I talk about. So Flo, stop right off cartel dick. I said this before, me I gonna say it again. For you to tell a next man about right dick, it's for you to sit there and think about it first and meds it and then speak the words. Because no matter how fast you speak, words cannot just fly out of your mouth without processing through your mind, your brain first. So you have to go think about if I'm supposed to say to a man, Yo, my youth, me will shot you in your face, you know. Me have to actually sit down on meds and shoot a youth in your face for me to say it, you know. Whether I can do it or not. Whether I intend to do it or not. Just the fact that I have to say it with my mouth, I have to meds it with my brain first before me can say it. So, why do I carry the meditation, God, that's so? You guys think because you tell people on social media to suck out under them mother and you tell people on social media about them forget fat gunshot in them face and all this, you think it makes you bad. You think it makes you gangster. All it does, right, is expose you and show you for the real homosexual.